This tutorial is the last in a series of a data conversion project where a legacy contact table is split into a contact table plus a table for a variable number of URLs to be associated with the contact. Drag both the legacy contact table as a MySQL input component and the contact table as a MySQL output component onto the canvas and link the two up with the tmap. Give the tmap a meaningful name this is going to be the main flow where most of the data is migrated to. There will be a second flow, so it's important to use um, specific map names in this case. Right drag on and run the main into the map. Similarly on the output, we'll call it contact. And I've got both schemas. This one's a good candidate for an auto map. However, I don't want to take the contact ID of the legacy data. I'll be generating new ones off of a MySQL auto increment. Now for the second part of the flow, legacy contact again is going to provide an input to the contact URL table. This one is also going to need a lookup from the previous, um, from the previous flow and that lookup is going to be a second input to a map. There will also be a filter place to remove any empty records. And then finally as an output, contact URL is a MySQL output component. Both these flows are kept separate. That's so that the IDs of the contact table will show up. They'll be run in two separate transactions. Legacy contact is the main driver providing the input, and as that input is run into the map, uh, there's a lookup that takes place on the contact table. That's to get the contact ID that I just generated in the previous flow. Hook the filter up. And I'll set up the map for the URL table. The lookup is based on email. That's a common business key between the legacy data and the, the target uh, new contacts table. A uh, contact ID is not going to work because it just generated some new ones um, for, this, for this run in the new table. Uh, because the uh, map component is disassociated from the MySQL output contact URL. I'll create the schema by hand here. It's a simple three column table. Contact ID is going to be provided by the contact table rather than the legacy contact table. Contact URL ID is going to be left blank because that's an auto increment column and URL path is what, what was the custom field. double back over the map to provide the expression. Over here clicking on the the arrow in the upper right I can enter a Java expression. Row 2 if it equals null don't bother writing it out to the contact table. If I had left this off for each input record there would have been a record written out it would have contained a null entry with with its uh, contact URL ID. Run the map And the job finishes. I'll go to a terminal window, I'll run a left outer join. And as you can see, some of the records have a uh, URL. 